Michael Frankel with Terrell Galloway. We're at Fit and HB. And if you can't see, he has his little friend along with him. We're getting ready for King of the Cage Starbound 2. How you yes, doing, sir? sir? Lovely. Lovely. Back down to 125 pounds. That sounds lovely. Oh, yeah. Had to get it. Had to get it. Eat right. Do what you got to do. Last fight, short notice, up weight class. Oh, yeah. Devil over, yeah. Man, you just, you just like to take a challenge, don't you? That's what life's about, taking the challenge. That, that's what the idea was? That, that's what it's about? Yes, sir. So tell us about your motto, then. My motto is just take it how it comes. What does, that mean? what does that mean? Dish it out how it comes. Like, some people break under pressure. Some people is the pressure. And what are you? The pressure. You bring the pressure. Yeah, I'm trying to break everybody I go against now. And now, also, I think one of the things I like about this fight coming up, Mark Van Tong, both of you guys are finishers. I think I looked, you got a 76% finishing rate. He's got like an 84%. I may have that backwards, which one's which. But both of you guys come out to finish. What do you like about this fight coming up? Not nothing, you know. It's just no damn <laughs> fight. Like, it's no fight. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get knocked smooth fuck out. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's the truth. Because I'm coming with some bullshit. And, oh, well, he about to, he about to be ready. Because game time is game time. And it's game time. So what you been working on? What Every, area? Everything. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And I'm going to see, can this 42-year-old man go up, down, up, down, up, down? And see, can he hang? I know he can't. You're at 40 years old. Why, why are you still fighting? I'm young. Young at heart. No, I'm young. You ain't old. You ain't old till you get old. I'm young. So you're just fighting it off. You get some mind over matter almost? Not really. I'm 42 years old. I look like I'm 19. <laughs> I'm young. This, this is a, a, a happy and on a diet to work out with. If you guys know it's real. Hell yeah. It's not usually this energetic when we're getting down to weight cut in time. Hell yeah. Because I've been doing everything right this time. Like... All bullshit aside, I took ass whooping. That ass whooping wasn't fun. Like, that shit changed my whole goddamn life. For real. <laughs> really? That I, fight against the Met? Fuck yeah. I didn't know I could be hurt like that. And, yep, that shit hurt like motherfucker. <laughs> it won't never happen. Never, never, never happen. Because I'm the one going to be doing the hurting now. Since I know you can hurt somebody like that. <laughs> like, I really didn't think I'd get hurt. And he hurt me. Like, but it showed me that, hey... I don't give a fuck how bad you hurt me. I'm going to keep moving forward. I didn't quit. That's what it is, and that's what I'm taking into this fight. You can't hurt me like he did because he caught me slipping because I wasn't ready. I was street fight ready. I wasn't cage fight ready. Where if I could have bit that motherfucker, I'd beat this goddamn mirror off. <laughs> I'm serious. I would have won that on the street. That's been easy. But, you know, in the cage, you got to mental how to... And I wasn't there. So from LFA, it was a learning experience. Oh, it was a good learning experience. Because I wouldn't whoop his ass. Like, I wouldn't whoop your ass. Yep, I show you. I want a rematch. I don't give a damn. I ain't never called nobody out, but I know how he got me. With the leg kicks. Hell no. Shit, I was drinking the day of. <laughs> we gonna keep it honest, yeah. That's how you got me. That's all, because I wasn't on my job. That's what it is. I didn't take it as a job. I was out there celebrating. I'm taking this as a job now. You won't catch me no more. I want you. I want everybody, though. That, but I do. I want everybody. I'm going for the UFC belt. Once I get that motherfucker, hey, y'all can have it. I don't want it no more. I don't need to defend make me a champ. <laughs> Shit, I whooped his ass to make me the champ. <laughs> Shit. So you got some goals ahead. You got some hey, stuff yeah. that Trail Galloway still wants to get accomplished Real in this quick. game. Real quick. Well, tell us about it. What is it? Because something I learned about it is pressure is it's the type of fighter you is. There's all type of fighters you is. You can be the type of fighter, learn fighter, or you can be your own fighter. I'm going to be my own fighter. I don't care who you is. I'm still going to fight me. I'm going to make you fight me. That's what it is. You're going to have to fight me. I don't give a fuck what you do. So we gotta believe for this fight you're bringing in a different kind of mentality that we haven't seen now. It's real Galloway. Before. Show Liz. So excited for this one. Seek and destroy. Have you looked up your opponent at all? Have you have you studied him for this fight, or are you more just on what you're gonna do? Right. What now? I'm gonna do. 
I don't care about him. So on to the next one. On to the next one. What are some of the areas where you've been like, I'm good and I'm gonna become great at? Oh, strikes. I'm getting a knockout. Oh, this is gonna be a knockout. He's either gonna go to sleep or if he won't go to the ground, I'll take it to the ground. But standing, he getting knocked out. And that I also, bet you you get knocked out, motherfucker. Yeah. So before we started talking, also, Siri. you said you had a message. You had some real stuff you wanted to bring up. You wanted to talk about that you've been observing. Yeah, that stuff that's going on with these people coming from uh, across trying to get to America. You know, we supposed to be soldiers. We supposed to protect people like that. I be seeing on the internet and stuff that they're not lying. Like, they're really not lying. Like, they killing people left and right. Like, it's a joke. Like, I think we need to get up there and help them. Like, we America. Like, we stand as one. Like, come on, y'all. Like, if the people do what they got to do to become a citizen, let them become a citizen. That's what it is. Like, it ain't no, ain't nothing against it. Like, come on. Like, help them out because they around serial killers that's doing it for fun. Like, I grew up in a game. I know how stupid people would get in a game. And they over there, like, in another country, just all means necessary. Like, we're going to kill whoever we want to kill when we want to kill them. Come on, now. We America. We the baddest motherfuckers in the world. Come on, now. Let's don't let them do that. And if we can't do that, come on. Bring them over here. Bitch, they won't bring their ass over here. Troy Galloway, I'm passionate about fighting. and passionate about wanting to help other people out in this world. Sir, oh, yeah. got any other message for everybody? Love and happiness. <laughs> King of the Cage, Starbound 2, Sunday, December 2nd. Yeah, baby. We'll see you guys there at the Star Center. See you there. See you there. <laughs>